Welcome back. My name is Jessica D. Perez. I'm a plein air painter painting in the open air. Follow me as we adventure out in the field. On this episode of Out in the Field, I have been planning to be here for a month in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, because this evening is going to be the art walk where the galleries are gonna be opening up their doors to the public in a way that makes us celebrate and enjoy all of the artists that are there to be meted, greeted, all that fun stuff. It's not until this evening, so I have time. I'm going to be wandering around the town, looking at the flowers and the gardens, really just enjoying the vibe and all of the beautiful scenery that Portsmouth has to offer. It was really hard to decide where I wanted to put my easel down and paint because everything in Portsmouth was picturesque. But I did end up at Newcastle Island at the Great Island Common, which is a nice little park that oversees the ocean, a little house, a lighthouse, rocks. It was just gorgeous. Even when I landed there, I wasn't sure where to go, but I found a spot. So I set up my easel and I got started. One of the new tools that I brought with me is a retardant, which helps the paint slow its drying process. Now granted, this is my first time using it, so we'll see what it has to offer. The reason why I brought it along with me is because the wind was drying my paint so fast and using acrylics, that's kind of something that goes against you. So we'll see what this does. While working on the painting, I was really trying to focus on the color and the shape of my composition. With the rapid weather changing and with the rapid changing of the waves and the ripples of the water coming in, I was probably a little unprepared to handle such rapid changes. So I did feel like I was losing control of what was going on with my brush and with my paintwork. While using the retardant, I noticed that it does change the behavior of the paint. And although I felt like I got a really good start on my painting, there was a point where I found myself feeling defeated, feeling frustrated. And I have to be honest, this is a feeling that a planner artist will feel often enough because you can't expect to be 100% successful every time. What you do need to do is to expect to learn from your lessons every time. I had a few tools that were working against me today. The brushes were frayed. The retardant kind of peeled away some of that paint later on and my umbrella got in the way. It was supposed to be a big, beautiful, sunny day, but I did notice some clouds hovering. It looked like it might have been scattered showers. Well, hoping for the best, I went ahead and painted anyway. Turns out, it started raining. <laughs> Yay! On a day that has forecasted nothing but sunshine, we now have rain. You can probably see a look on my face. I went from excited to, but I was not having fun anymore. But you know what? When we face these challenges, this is how we get stronger. And when we face these challenges and we find a way to fight through it, that's how we get better. You learn from nature. Nature is not just what you see, it's what you feel, it's what you experience, and it's how you respond to it.
deciding to pack up and fix the painting up in the studio another time, we ended the day by checking out the galleries, including Ceres Gallery and Tan Bonita Gallery, where there were many beautiful artworks by the artists such as Ken Wilson, John LaCour, and Eric Rhodes himself. If you'd like to see the final painting from today's video, please subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you can see the painting as soon as it's finished, as well as join me for more upcoming adventures out in the field.